I'm wondering if you can tell us the story of how you're finishing up or you've already finished with Call Me King and then you start writing Lazarus or how do you how are you pitching this to investors? Yeah, I, I guess I, I had the idea for Lazarus. Uh, um, as I was finishing Call Me King, um, actually, and um, I had already started started talking to uh, actor Sean Riggs and um, he's someone I've known for a long time, so I knew you know, um, I knew we had planned on sort of producing something together, but uh, I wasn't sure what it was up until around that time when Call Me King was sort of coming out. And um, um, it was actually a, a pretty easy process to get funded um, just based on what we'd already done. And, um, you know, the definitely the success of Call Me King, it, it made it pretty easy uh, it's probably the easiest i've gotten a, a project funded <laughs> because uh um you know we still had a lot of energy from it and actually the investor of lazarus had seen call me king you know so um yeah it was it happened pretty quickly actually like um i had the the story the concept in mind but i i hadn't written it yet um and um, you know, once uh, once Call Me King was done, it sort of made it made its his, its uh, rounds. Um, I kind of yeah quickly moved into Lazarus, and yeah, we were up and running uh, pretty quickly actually. Um, yeah, and and all that stuff was sort of coming together, like the idea of creating a universe. Um, um, I knew the I knew the first hero in that universe. I wanted to come from me, and then I wanted to um, start to bring in um, other uh, concepts from other independent, like comic book creators and stuff like that. Um, and so, uh, yeah, yeah, it came together pretty pretty fast, actually. Yeah, you're writing the script. Yeah, yeah. How? Um, so, so yeah, I uh, I had the idea. I. Um, sort of took that same approach, did an outline, um, and just started writing. And um, it took me um, probably a few months, actually, um, to finish that script. But as as I was finishing it, you know, we were already um, getting funding and sort of um, getting ready. Uh, yeah, we it got funded kind of just off the idea of it, you know. Mm. Um, the idea of it and, and then the success of Call Me King was like, okay, you know. <laughs> did you approach the investors or did they approach you? Yeah, we we approached them. Um, you know, it it was interesting because um, some of the discussions that came from uh, Call Me King was like, hey, if you guys are doing, you know, something else, like, you know, whatever you're doing next, like, we you know, we'd love to talk about it or um, let me know, you know, what's going on after that. So... Um, yeah, as soon as we had sort of decided to, to move forward with Lazarus, like, um, um, once I had the idea sort of fleshed out, like we went to certain people and were like, Hey, this is what we're doing next. Do you know what I mean? And so, um, yeah, they, they got on board, you know, pretty quickly. What's the idea for the film? What, what were you pitching them? That was just the idea. Like, how did you go in and present it? I had a, a bit of like concept art and I had um, this uh, sort of the, I'd, I'd done sort of like a detailed uh, synopsis of, of the film. Um, so I was able to sort of break down the story and um, how everything sort of played out. Um, I, had a, I had a ballpark of what it would take to make the film. Um, and um, the fact that it was in the superhero genre, you know, that was like super appealing to people, um, especially with um, uh, how um, popular the genre had become by then. Um, so um, I think that was one of the biggest things that intrigued them was like sort of uh, my idea and my approach to it, but the fact that it was uh, a superhero and a, a hero of color as well. Um, and and it sort of lived in that space. So I call it a superhero thriller because it's 
it does have like some horror uh undertone uh you know and and so um yeah i think that that those were the things that really sold the idea of it um was the genre if i if i was um making maybe another gangster film or something maybe it would have took a little more nudging maybe maybe not i don't know but um but the fact that it was in the superhero genre like people got really excited about that and what what's the film about oh oh i'm trying not to give too much away <laughs> but okay. um essentially it's a a uh a city it's it's like a um it's called paradise city it's a city that's sort of like in the heart of like a chicago or like a la um and uh this whole city is sort of uh overrun by uh crime and it, it, it's a bad place you know and, and there's a synthetic uh drug that you you burn it and you sort of uh the crystals produce this red smoke and you inhale it and it uh it's like mind altering and so uh you know the whole infrastructure of the city is sort of based upon um that and the people who who operate it and they use a lot of the people in the city as runners so, you know they recruit a lot of people to to work for them um and so our, our main character um Ray Lazarus like he uh was like a military uh vet he he was a sort of a bad person before he went to the military and then he saw a lot of things and grew up um and became a better person so uh when he came back he uh was a totally different uh human being and um got a lot of his friends to 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 go legit and change their lives and you know just like a very productive uh citizen and um they tried to recruit him he said no and something very bad happens to him and <laughs> um that sort of sends him on this journey uh to um undo like a lot of what's going on in the city um but um in that moment where he's um where this bad thing happens to him he's approached by an entity and this entity sends him on this course uh but it has its own agenda you know what i mean um um that's kind of all i could say really um, i probably said too much but um <laughs> um but yeah it's uh but he's he's like this super powered being that is trying to free like this city um from the people that um have uh, have sort of enslaved this city through this this synthetic uh drug 